Oh, we're going to have a fantastic semester. I mean, already our basketball teams are really doing well. Looking forward, of course, to the spring seasons too, although with the snow on the ground, it's a little hard to imagine that. We had a lot of students go off to Florence and they're excited about joining our campus there in Florence. We had the Florence kids coming back and they had a wonderful experience there as well. In addition to that, we're expanding our campus. You, you think about you go up 2nd Street, we're building the row houses for fall of 2010. We're going to get the hospital property and so nursing will begin in fall of 2010, the Ramsey building. And in addition to that, in the Cray Manor, we're going to house 40 sophomore men up there in Cray and then journalism, mass communications, sociology and psychology will all be teaching their classes over there in the Cray Manor. So we're excited about that. We'll probably also see the hospital being torn down too. So. A lot of exciting things happen on our campus. And one of the really most exciting things that we're going to have this semester will be the visit by Cardinal Christoph Schoenborn of Vienna. Uh, this is the first sitting Cardinal that we've ever had at Benedictine College, and so we're really excited about him. And to have someone of his stature in the Catholic Church is really pretty amazing. I mean, he's one of the youngest of the 183 College of Cardinals. To put this in perspective, he's been a Cardinal for 12 years, and he's now the eighth, still the eighth youngest Cardinal in the College of Cardinals, often mentioned many times as, as a possible uh, person that might succeed Pope Benedict XVI, but, uh, and he was also the editor of the, uh, the Catechism, which is really exciting for us. And so to have this Catholic intellectual on our campus brought to, him, brought to us by Archbishop Nauman, we'll also have Bishop Finn on the Missouri side here as well. This is just going to be a wonderful day, January 31st. He will say Mass at noon in the Abbey Church, and he will also have a 2.30 lecture later that afternoon talking about Regensburg and Pope Benedict XVI, and this is a lecture that he has not given anywhere else in the entire world. So it's really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you to be there. In addition to that, we will award him the Cross of the Order of St. Benedict, one of our most prestigious awards here at Benedictine College, and I think it'll be, a, again, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so you need to be there. <laughs>